Let's talk about lyrical content for a second, okay? Does it matter? Does lyrical content matter? This is something that comes up a lot with DJs, right? Like, should you be listening to the lyrics of all these songs? Should you play breakup songs at weddings? Like, does that matter? You know, do, do, you, do you really, like, think about that a lot? You know, do you really, like, have you gone through your library and gone through what you've played and, like, filtered things out? You know, do you purposely, as a wedding DJ or any kind of DJ, do you purposely not play certain songs because of the content? You don't think it's appropriate for a wedding or whatever party you're doing? Do you do that or do you not do that, right? And I want to talk about it, give you my two cents. You might agree, you might not. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think, all right? You might agree, you might not. But my two cents is that lyrical content is a slippery slope, okay? When you start caring about things like lyrical content, it's a slippery slope. It's a very slippery slope. One thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. And eventually, you're going to run out of shit to play. That's just my opinion. I mean, think about this, okay? For all you people that don't play, oh, you know, you won't play this or that because it's a breakup song or whatever. Do you play Run Around Sue? Ask yourself, do you play Run Around Sue? Because Run Around Sue is, in fact, about a hoe named Sue. That's exactly what it's about. It's a Run Around Sue. Back in the day, they didn't have words like hoe. So they said, Run Around. Oh, she, yeah, see, she runs around. She runs around all the time. I tell you, see, I can't keep her inside. That's what they said back then. They didn't have the words ho or slut or whatever. They they just run around. She's, she, she runs around. See? Yeah, see? <laughs> back in the early 60s or whatever when this came out. <clears throat> run around Sue. It's about a hoe named Sue. And you play at every wedding. But All right, but let's say, all right, you know what? No, I don't play run around Sue. I don't play it because of what it's about. It's about a hoe. I will not play that. Cool. Well, since you don't play run around Sue, do you still play Billie Jean? Because Billie Jean is about groupies. It's about groupies waiting outside the stage, you know? And what are groupies? Hmm? Anyone? Anyone? Hoes. Groupies are typically hoes, okay? And if you happen to be friends with a groupie, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I didn't mean to offend you. Or if you happen to be a groupie, I didn't mean to offend you. But groupies are typically hoes, right? So, I mean, you can't play Billie Jean. It's not right. And if you're not going to play Billie Jean, I mean, you can't play like tracks like Marry You. I mean, Marry You, Marry You is about just getting drunk and doing something dumb like get married. Like it mocks marriage. I mean, you're, you're DJing a wedding and you play Marry You. You're kind of mocking marriage by playing that, don't you think? You know, looking for something dumb to do. Hey, baby, I think I'm going to marry you. Don't be fooled by the title. They're calling marriage dumb here. Straight up. Dumb. How could you play that at a wedding? You don't because it says that. And if you don't play marry you, then I mean, I'm sure you don't play baby got back. I mean, that's just, this is a whole nother extreme. You know, you don't play baby got back. Do you think about that? Think about baby got back the lyrical. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. You, that's discriminating against women without large booties. Sir mix a lots message here is saying that if you don't have a large booty, then his anaconda don't want none. And like, what about all the fine young ladies and older ladies? What about all the women out there that have the flat booties? What about all the flat booty women? This is a direct discrimination. You can't play this. It's a direct discrimination, discrimination, like straight up. This song it has three verses of just straight up discriminating against flat booties. You ever think about how all those women feel? I can't believe you play that. And same thing goes for artists too. Like, like, like R. Kelly, right? Okay. All right. R. Kelly's in jail. He did a lot of crazy shit. All right. And you know what? You don't play R. Kelly because, you know, it allows you to hold your head high to a high moral standard. You 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 have that moral just obligation. You will not play R. Kelly because of what he's done. And that makes you feel good on the inside, right? Right? That makes you feel good. That makes you feel great. You feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside because you don't play R. Kelly. You're that makes you a good person. But if you don't play R. Kelly, then I mean you really shouldn't be playing Michael Jackson either, you know? I mean, he's bad, see? Says it right. But seriously, we all know the documentary and all that, right? I didn't watch it, but some bad shit happened, right? So if you're not playing R. Kelly, you can't be playing Michael Jackson. Forget Michael Jackson, all right? Or else that's all out the window. And if you're not playing Michael Jackson, if you're if you're one of those people that don't play Michael Jackson because, you know, because of what he's done in the past, you definitely don't play Rick James, right? 
Rick James, you may ask. Well, Rick James famously kidnapped, I think, like two people in the early 90s and like assaulted them and shit. He was like high on crack. <laughs> and he, he went to jail for kidnapping and assault. He like assaulted these women. He literally kidnapped women. So don't be playing Rick James now. I, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's ridiculous. You can't do that. And, and if you don't play Rick James, I mean, you definitely can't play Aerosmith. Steven Tyler, I think it was in the late 70s. Oh, look all this up too. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not making this up. Steven Tyler back in the day was uh, was dating a 15-year-old, right? He was having sex with a 15-year-old and he wanted this 15-year-old to go on tour with him. So he somehow talked the 15-year-old's parents into signing over custody of the 15-year-old to him so he can bring this girl on tour with him. Brought this girl on tour with him and he's in his 20s, by the way. So he's having relations with a 15-year-old girl in his 20s on tour and then apparently like after the tour, he just never talked to her again and that was it. So you certainly can't be playing Aerosmith. I mean, you know, you know, I don't want to miss a thing. You're not playing that shit, okay? Walk this way, out the window, okay? Even the D, uh, the Run DMC version, you can't play that. It, 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 it samples, you know what I mean? This dude is a predator, right? You can't play him. And I mean, if you're not playing Aerosmith, then you're definitely not playing Chris. Chris ain't getting played. Chris Brown, you know, the Chris Brown, he beat up Rihanna. Who knows who else? He beats women. So, I mean, you just you can't be playing him. I mean, you can't. I mean, it's just not right. So my whole point is, if you get the point <laughs> that it's a slippery slope, people, if you cancel one, you have to cancel them all. Everybody has like all this, like there's so much like <laughs> bad shit that went down. You know what I mean? Like if you, if you try and be one of these moral DJs that, you know, oh, I don't play this, I don't play that. You'll, you're not, you're going to be left with nothing but, but religious music to play. That's it. You're going to have just gospel music. Like what, what else can you play? You know what I mean? You're going to be left with like, I don't know, the, the Beatles and Coldplay. Even they probably have bad, like, you know, like what are you going to be left with? My personal philosophy is I will play. Okay. Anything my couple wants anything. That's my personal philosophy. Anything my couple wants, I will play. I am working, whoever I'm working for, if they want me to play something, I'll play it. No matter what it is, I don't give a shit. Okay. Whether it's the chicken dance or like corny line dances, which I'm against, but you know, they want me to play, I'll play that. Whether it's, I don't know, political things. I'll, they want me, whatever they want, I'll play. I don't care. Perfect example. If you follow me on, um, on uh, TikTok or Instagram, uh, just an hour ago, I posted this video. And uh, the story behind this video is uh, the couple requested that I play a meme. They said, can you somehow fit in this viral meme in your set somewhere? I'm like, what viral meme? He's like, the, the I'm going to come meme. And it's basically, I don't know if you've seen it online, but it's basically, it shows Kamala Harris, uh, our vice president, saying like, don't come, don't come, right? And then it switches to Trump and Trump's like, I'm going to come. You know what I mean? And it's like this meme. If you haven't seen it, I don't know. So he was like, can you somehow fit this in your set? And I said, you, sir, hired me and uh, you were the boss. So, uh, you know, what the couple wants, the couple gets. Don't you worry, sir. I got you. So I happened to fit it in my set and I got it on video and it uh, went over beautifully, I think. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Like, look at this. Just look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Oh my god. I felt her eyes like staring at the side of my head, but I didn't look up. I was too scared. <laughs> I felt the eyes. I really did, but I did not look up. I was way, 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 way too scared. But yeah. Would you guys have done that? You know, some of you may have, some of you think I'm crazy. What my couple wants, my couple gets. And that's my rule. If they don't want me to play R. Kelly or Michael Jackson, I won't. If they want me to play R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, I will, you know? And I, I think at the end of the day, th that's, you know, if you're, 
if you're like a Tiesto level, you're just doing festival sets and, you know, you're, you're hired because you're famous and, you know, you crush it. What You know what I mean? And like no one, you could do what you like, right? Then that's one thing. Then you say, okay, I'm going to leave this stuff out of the sets because, you know, this, whatever. But the fact, but if you're a working DJ like all of us and we get hired by people and I get hired by someone to do their wedding and they want something, I would never tell a couple that, hey, I can't do that. It's against my own, you know what I mean? Because to, to me, it's just, I don't know. Why? You know, what they want, they get. You know, there's no, there's no moral code with me when it comes to that. I, I'm working for somebody, and I want them to have the best wedding ever. Okay, every wedding's a Super Bowl. Every wedding's Game Seven, and you gotta realize that, like, sometimes when you take risks and you do crazy shit like that, that kind of like sets it over the top. You know, that was the one thing that like the couple and like a lot of the guests were talking about is the fact because so what you didn't see in the video too. I that was the first time I did it. Because the, the groom would come up and be like, dude, you got to do it again. And then other people would say, yo, you got to do it again. And the groom's like, just do it throughout the whole night. So I ended up doing it like eight more times that night. Like before every drop, I'm going to come. Because <laughs> they like the EDM too, so it worked. So I was doing a bunch of drops that wedding. And like literally before every drop, I'm going to come. <laughs> and that's what I did. And it, so it was the talk of the wedding. You know what I mean? Like I feel like a lot of people were like cracking up about it or whatever. You know, and little things like that matter. I don't know. I mean, I just. Same thing with like curse words. Some people are against playing curse words. Why? You know, if they want it, I'm not going to play it by default. I don't just play explicit. I, I, by default, play clean. But if the couple specifically requests that I play curse words, then I'm going to play curse words.